My name is Myra Richardson. I'm a 22-year-old political science major and I attend Southern University. I'm an activist, I'm a serial entrepreneur, and most importantly, I'm just passionate about my community. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Dixie. You're that's from where Dixie? I'm from. That's from, I'm from North Baton Rouge, 7805. Okay, now first and foremost, okay, what brings you to uh, politics? What made you want to get into politics? I think that I got my start in 2016 after Alton Sterling was murdered, and from there I was catapulted into politics. I was able to see the beautiful, I was able to see the ugly, I was able to see how it affects our people every day, and that's mm -hmm. what made me stay committed and made me do it um, from 2016 to today in 2020. So I started when I was 17, I'm still at it at 22. Okay, with so many cases like that, what made the Alton Sterling case so special? I think at that time, I was attending Baton Rouge High, I was 17, I was in group messages, and I saw how passionate my peers were. We were all crying together. We were all, it was something about it being in your backyard. It was something that it happened at Triple S, which is just a few miles away from where my home was. So it's things like that. When it happens to your community, you have no option but to act. You have no option but to participate. You have no action but to use your voice. Okay, okay, all right. What politician would you say best represents you and your views? I would say that the politician that best represents me and my views would probably be um, when that passed away already. Her name was Shirley Chisholm. She was the first black woman to run for Congress in New York, um, and she won. She was the first black woman to run for president of the United States and to be a major Democratic Party ticket. Um, she was just a phenomenal woman, and she did so much for education, so much for families, and that's something that I'm deeply passionate about, and I think she is what I need to see more because she was unbought and she was unbossed. Okay, perfect answer. What kind of person are you in a team, and what do you bring to the table in a team environment? What role do you usually take on? Um, in teams, I'm always just trying to make sure that everybody's straight. I'm the friend that's like, okay, everybody good, checking on everybody in the group message. Um, at the end of the day, I just want everybody to be the best that they can be, so I'm the one that's going to push you, I'm the one that's going to fight with you, I'm the one that's going to argue with you, because I just want you to have your true potential. Okay. Why do you want this job of doing what you're doing? I think that I do what I do every day. I do this activism, I do this advocacy work because I grew up in 7805, so I know how real it is. I grew up without having access to healthy food. I grew up having to bust out of my community for education. I grew up seeing my mother work two jobs. So it's never about what can I do to elevate myself, but more so what can I do to move my community forward. Okay, real quick, what is the mission of a nonprofit organization? I think the role of nonprofits in Baton Rouge is to fill the gaps that sometimes our educational, our social justice, um, and our business community cannot fill. So our nonprofits more often than not step up and they try to fill those roles. Um, but I think it takes all of us. It's not just on our nonprofits, it's not just on our educators, it's not just on our politicians, it's on us. What do we want to see for our community and how do we hold ourselves accountable and our community leaders accountable? Okay. Awesome answer. If you were playing on a team and you did not get the ball for a while, how would you react? I'm hyping everybody up. I'm waiting my turn. Like, I don't, if I don't have the ball, it's just not my time. So I just want everybody to win. So um, if I don't have the ball for a while, I'm rooting for the person who does. I'm rooting for the whole team. I'm rooting for the opposition sometimes, too. I want to see what they do, you know? So right, right. Um, it's just always a good game for me. I'm very competitive. I just always want to see everybody reach their full potential. Okay. For the black females that's watching this, or just women in general, you said it at the beginning of the interview, but what is your educational background? Um, so, a Southern University, I am a political science major, but I'm aspiring to law. But um, even outside of your education, right, I think it's more so about how you're taking up space no matter what you do, whether it's in education, whether it's in fashion, whether you do a sewing. The niche is never too full. You can never be silenced. You need to take up space. You need to be who you're meant to be. Don't let anybody define you. And I think that's things that lead my life, that help me be who I am today, that has graced me with the opportunity to be on cover of magazines, to get calls from the White House and the Obama administration, to be able to you know, work with every level of government here in Louisiana and across the South. So I think it's always take up space to don't let anything define you. Don't let any type of constraint stop you from whatever you want to do. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Is it harder for female candidates to be seen as likable compared to men? candidates? I think in terms of female politicians versus male politicians, there is a higher stigma on women politicians. There are, you know, the structures that say women shouldn't be powerful, that women shouldn't have a seat at the table, and I'm the woman to say, no, you can. I am always going to hear, be here to support women, always be here to say, how do we move the needle forward? Because when we prioritize equity and equality, everybody wins. So that's what I'm passionate about. I think that's what a lot of our female politicians in this arena is. Um, advocating for so it's just so 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 important that the more diverse your table is the more everybody eats 
why do you think um when women are looked at as weaker compared to men like why do you think that i think that is just a historical problem of women being seen lesser than okay um, i think that the tides are slowly changing in america and across the world as we see more and more women just take position to take up space and i think that's one of the most beautiful things to see to see so many girl bosses to see so many women in power to see so many women step up and say that i'm not just abc i can be okay. anything and that's okay. important to me real quick what can be done to make kids more aware of politics? I think that kids need to have more access to our politicians, right? I don't want to just see politicians reading stories to kids. I want to see them in their community. I want to see them be able to have conversations, be able to visit their office, and not just those food giveaways or the book sack giveaways. It's those real life-changing interactions that make that more possible and more tangible. And I think in Baton Rouge, we have a beautiful example of our mayor being the first black woman. Um, we have a black city parish attorney. We have a black police chief. Um, this is the first time for a lot of things in Baton Rouge in Louisiana. So it's just, I think it's more so about us saying like, hey, I have to take initiative to want to get to know these people. That I have to see who's leading and making decisions for me. Like that all matters to all of us, not just for our children's sake, but our future's sake. Okay. Real quick, last question. 30 seconds. Who is Myra Richardson? Myra Richardson. Is that girl? I'm kidding. Um, Myra Richardson is not next up i'm right now i'm here to move our community forward to where it needs to be i'm here to do the work that needs to be done and i'm passionate about saying that the state of our city whether it be on violence whether it be on economic development whether it be on education all of this is movable all of this deserves progress but it takes all of us to do it so i'm about bringing everybody to the table i'm about bringing equity to the table and justice forefront to the table that's my priority that's what i do for baton rouge and that's how i move the needle forward right here you go, my Richardson, Private Terra TV, man. Make sure y'all hit the link below. My Instagram gonna be down below. All the links that y'all need to know gonna be down below. We out.